Hey guys, today we will be learning how to solve the very first layer and very first face of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. But before we start, let's learn a couple of simple components of the Rubik's Cube. The very first component that I'm going to show you is the centerpiece. They're located over here in the center of the cube, and there's six of them overall. And they're completely immovable. The next pieces are the edge pieces located over here with two stickers each. And finally, we have the corner pieces over here with three stickers each located in the corners. And now let's get on to the actual solving of the cube. Here is our fully scrambled cube. Now, the very first thing you have to do when you're thinking about solving a Rubik's Cube is to think about the side that you're going to solve first. In our case, we're going, to solve the, we're going to solve the white face first. So we have to look on the other side of the cube, and it's yellow. So what we're doing here is creating something called the daisy. And like a daisy, it has a yellow center and white petals around it. So that's exactly what you're going to do. We're going to have a yellow centerpiece with four white edge pieces around it. This step is completely intuitive. Uh, there is no algorithms to it, so I'm just going to show you a demonstration of uh, how to do it. So I keep where this is in my mind, and I look for white edge pieces, like this one over here. Then I simply shift this upwards, and it matches along. And then I find another. I shift this over here, and there it is. That's our second petal. There's another edge piece over here. I'm just going to move this over here. Move this upward, sideways, and this way. And now we only need one more petal. And there it is. So we're going to shift it over here, upward, and there it is. That is our very first step, the daisy. Now the next thing you have to do is create something called the white cross. And basically, it's where we have to transfer this daisy downwards to the white side. So there's meant to be those white petals around this white centerpiece. So this is how we do it. So we have to look at our daisy, the top of our daisy. Then we should look at the other side of the petals. For example, this one, and it's blue. So we match this with the blue centerpiece, like this, and it forms this blue line. Then we shift it downwards 180 degrees, so it simply matches with the white centerpiece. Over here again, it's green. We match it with the green centerpiece, and we shift it downwards. There's another. It's orange. We twist it over to the orange. It forms an orange line, and we twist it downwards. Very last edge piece, and it's red over here. So we shift it to the red, makes a red line, and there it is. That is our white cross. We can just ignore this bit. doesn't really matter. Now for the next part in solving the first face. We need to learn two triggers. The first one's the right trigger, and the next is the left trigger. So this is the right trigger. I move the right face upward, I move the top face toward me, and I move the right face downward. Let me show you again. I move the right face upward, I move the top face toward me, and I move the right face downward. And that was the right trigger. Here's the left trigger. I move the left face toward me. No, I move the left face upward. I move the top face toward me, and I move the left face downward. Let me show you again. Move the left face upward, the top face toward me, and the left face downward. And that is the left trigger. Now let me show you when to use these. So what we're looking for now is white corner pieces like this one. So we see this white bit, and we keep it in our palm, and we have to look at the other color. In this case, it's green. So we should shift it over here so it matches with its green centerpiece. And then since it's on the left side, we do a left trigger. If it was on the right, we'd have done a right trigger. So left trigger, up, toward us, and down. And there it is. It's slotted in nicely uh, with the um, right colors. So now we should look for the other. There. That is another white corner piece we keep in our palm. It's orange. We shift it over here. It's diagonally matched, then up toward us and down. 
There it is. Now, there's another one. It's matched directly with the green and up toward us down. Okay, sometimes though, it's not always there. Sometimes it's on top of the cube, like in this case. So what we have to do is we have to shift this downward to here from where we can trigger it. Trigger it. So in this case, it's on our right side, so we have to do a right trigger. So up toward us, but instead of going down, because I'll only bring it down, we have to bring it one more time. Uh, we have to move the top face one more time again. So then we move this face downward. And there it is, this piece has come down over here. So we match it with the blue, then up toward us and down. And there's one more case, I'm just gonna artificially make it right now. So um, this is that case. This is when the white piece is downward over here. And it shouldn't be like that because we can't move it there. It has to be up here. So then what we have to do is we have to look at this white piece, keep it in our palm, look at the other side, and then in this case, it's on the left side. In other cases, it could be on the right, but in this case, it's on the left, so we do a left trigger. And there it is, it's moved upward. So now we can shift it up toward us and down. And that is our very first face. Congratulations on solving your very first face, and more importantly, your very first layer of the Rubik's Cube. Keep practicing, and get the hang of the cube. And don't forget to click that subscribe and notify button so you'll be notified of our future videos on 3x3 because there's still way more to go for us to finish. So, see you in our next video.